What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back here again with another video, and we're about to check out 100 of the best sweet chin music of all time from Shawn Michaels himself, HBK. Um, one of the subscribers sent it to me in the DM, so we're gonna check this clip out. Before we get into the video, I would like to say I did get a chance to check out the Keith Lee versus Adam Cole match, winner takes all, and I am actually pretty, pretty happy with the outcome. Keith Lee winning and becoming the first NXT and uh, NXT North American champion uh, ever in the company, uh, well, just within NXT. And that's a big milestone to hold both of those single championship belts at the same time, bringing prestige to those belts. And Keith Lee is a main event guy. You know, I hope they continue to push him. Um, Adam Cole pretty much was carrying NXT on his back since he won the championship last year so you know it was it was time for him to drop it i hope they don't move him to the main roster because it, it i mean i still think he'll shine on the main roster but i i just hope they they keep him on nxt for a while but just wanted to let you guys know i have been keeping up somewhat with the product and i definitely watched that match and enjoyed it for what it was but we're gonna get straight into this reaction man uh appreciate all the love and support Appreciate all the concerns and love and support on my last video with the uh with my car being broken to update on that i did get my window fixed so i'm back in action i got it fixed yesterday so everything is good everything's squared away but i appreciate all the love and support on that road to 20k let's get into it enough uh wasting time did i get hit with an instant ad oh, i was about to say Oh, this is a classic one. That was one of the greatest Sweet Chin Musics just on Raw by itself. The game, Triple H. Oh, I remember that. I remember that, man. This is fantastic match right here. This was a really good match at WrestleMania. Woo. I think that was WrestleMania 25, yep, in Houston. That was a fantastic match. <laughs> Woo! That's a young HPK right there. Digging deep in the And there goes Macho Man and Bad News out of the Damn. Here we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Bro, that was that Royal Rumble was pretty good, bro. That Royal Rumble was hella, hella great, man. That was a good Royal Rumble, bro. Just the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels feud itself was always just a legendary feud. A legendary feud. I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Shawn Michaels was involved in the very first Hell in a Cell. I think, yeah, yeah I think he was involved in the very first Hell in a Cell. And I think that was the match that he uh, injured his back. I want to say I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I do think he was in the very first Hell in a Cell. Um, they've always had a pretty good legendary feud. So this was... Anytime they ever faced off any against each other, it was it was something special. Music, sweet chin music. And I'm gonna start with you. There's <laughs> <laughs> a young <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, <laughs> This is this is crazy, bro. Just the crowd reaction when he hits it. Uh, that was a good promo between him and uh, Triple H at the time. He said, "All it takes is just one second." Kick, gentlemen, coachman, 
and they went right back to the promo. That was in, oh, man, that was such a good buildup to that match, bro. Oh, man. Just bring it back. So many good memories. I don't have the insights to do it. <laughs> Vince is so good at selling, bro. We don't give Vince enough credit for his selling. Let's look at this again. We got to go back. We we got to go back on this because we don't give Vince the credit he deserves on his selling. Vince sold that. Look at this. <laughs> he sold that kid. Oh, this is a classic one right here. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Classic one right there. Mm. Oh man, this is this is just giving me so many great memories, man. So I started to think to myself. advantage with two men in the ring. You've got your style, and I've got mine. Bow. Oh, <laughs> That's the timing on that. The timing on that. The angle that the camera was in. Perfect. Yo, we got to go back to that. We got to go back to that one. That one's pretty good. Give me that. Whoop. Bro, he's just so... Accurate with it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> His switching music, even though it's a super kick, but it's just when he hits it, it looks like it would knock somebody out, bro. He just hits it with ease. Before you even have time to react, you're done. That's why I love, I've always felt like his super kick was one of the best because it's just He's accurate with it. He can pull it out of nowhere. It's, the only time he really sets it up is when he's tuning up the van. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, he's just so accurate with it. <laughs> just easy. <laughs> was that Brock? I think that was Brock. Good match, him versus Ric Flair to retire Ric Flair. That was a fantastic match. Perfect send-off. He said the I love you before he hit him with it. It was it was perfect, bro. It was one of, it was one of my favorite WrestleMania matches. Randy Orton's good at selling it, too. Here comes, it's over. <laughs> I remember this. I remember that. He was the special guest for the week. Woo! That match was fantastic, too. That triple threat match. HBK, Triple H, Chris Benoit for the WWE Championship. Fan, I think it was the, no, I believe it was the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Eddie Guerrero ended up winning the WWE Championship. Still a fantastic match. WrestleMania 20 was was definitely one of the best WrestleManias of all time, for sure. Bro, it's just the way he hits it. Tuning up the band. <laughs> My man's just doing his job. And he gets a boot to the face. We got to look at this. My man's was just chilling, bro. Oh, Tuning it up. Boom. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> that was a good match, too. <laughs> Damn. That was a good elimination chamber, too. And then, of course, JR selling it like a 
true announcer should. Man, this is bringing back so many memories, yo. Oh man, this is oh, bro. I, just take me back to these days, bro. Just take me back to these days right here. Tuning it up. Kurt Angle, HBK, they had a pretty good feud too as well. High risk territory here. Give me that. Fantastic feud too. This was the the ending of the feud in the Hell in a Cell at Bad Blood, I believe. This this was such a good feud. Mm, man. This is just so fantastic, bro. This is giving me just. I still disagree with that booking. They should have let Sting win. I don't know why. Just give him the dub. Like, come on. I never understood why they never gave Sting the dub. Like, what's the point? Of him coming to the WWE for really one match at that time to lose. Triple H didn't need that. He didn't need to beat Sting at WrestleMania. Like, come on. I oh, what's coming his way? Sweet chant music. Woohoo! Sean. Oh, Just out of nowhere. Man. Tell me every time he hits it, bro, the crowd just pops. Woo! For him to survive these Wow! on the Oh, look at this quality. Jesus, this is like <laughs> one 140p. Jesus is quality. This is classic. Stan. Stan. <laughs> you, buddy. What's your name? Oh, my name's Stan. Hey, Stan. Oh! That was a good match too. Fantastic match too. This is dangerous. This is dangerous for Oh my god. Oh. It's just the way he's able to hook it. That's when Vince McMahon was on commentary. This was such a that was such a classic moment when he won the World Heavyweight Championship. I think it was in the first ever Elimination Chamber. Such a classic moment. JR sold it. It gives me goosebumps just watching that clip when he won the World Heavyweight Championship in hell, in an Elimination Chamber. Confetti falling. JR just selling it, bro. That was so crowd going crazy, man. Good times. Look at the ref. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Randy knows how to sell the kick. Not the documents. Not the. No. <laughs> That's a young HBK, man. With all the hair, all the luscious hair, man. Damn.
Jesus. <laughs> Look, bro, the crowd wanted John Cena to lose that match so much. Oh, man, this was, this brought back plenty of great memories, man. Shout out to HBK being one of the best to ever do it in WWE. Hands down, he, he's had his demons, but uh, you can't deny the dude was definitely entertaining. And, you know, he he knew how to get the crowd hype. All it took was one sweet chin music. The crowd was there. And he was a fantastic seller. He knew how to make the other uh, wrestler look just as strong, you know. So, but I appreciate all the love and support. Comment down below, what's your favorite feud that HBK has ever been in? Mine personally, it's, it's going to be Triple H. That was one of the best blood feuds in WWE history. When you think of a, a feud where you can consider them like brothers and it, it, it seems so personal, it was so fantastic, bro. That feud they had, those multiple matches when uh, Triple H had evolution behind him, like, that was just such a fantastic feud like he was pretty much running raw at the time bro like it was it's one of the best feuds in wwe in my opinion so comment down below what's your favorite feud that hbk was ever involved in that's one of my favorites man but i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k we're almost there and i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace